All right. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? What's popping? What's popping? What's going on? What's going on? What is good? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. Let me double check, make sure I can hear myself. All right. So everything is good. Everything is, looks like it's working good. So what's popping, everybody? I'm gonna make you know get some people get in the room. What up, DM Brian? What's popping? Young G was good. What's good, people? So again, remember the Game Kings documentary is out right now on the Bad Boy membership. Okay, it's it's out right now on the Bad Boy membership. You guys can go to badboymembership.com, join the Bad Boy membership, and you can watch the documentary for free, okay? So when you become a Bad Boy member, you get the documentary for free. You understand? So make sure you guys check that out. What up? Anton, Christopher, Unique79, Jono X was good. Jay Cuts was popping. So you're looking forward to seeing the Game Kings. That's what's up. Joe Blast was good. AT in the building. So shout out to everybody that watched the Game Kings, man. Shout out to everybody. Also, remember, make sure you guys get this book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, ebook, hard copy, or audio book. Make sure you go to MrLocario.com right now to get this shit cracking. You feel what I'm saying? Get that shit popping. You feel me? EW was good. Al L was popping. What's going on? What's going on, people? So, yeah, make sure you hit the like button when you come in. Make sure that you guys hit that donate button at the top. You feel me? Um, so we can get that popping. So today I'm going to be talking about five ways to tell a woman ain't shit and she'll waste your time. Unique 79, these dudes is hating. They, they, <laughs> they, they already disliked the video before I even started. But that's what that's what dudes is, you know, the dudes who ain't got no game, the dudes who are on some bullshit. That's what happens all the time. You know what I'm saying? Fabian K in the building. What's going on? What's going on? So, yeah, so today I'm going to be talking about, um, you know, the five ways that you can tell that a woman ain't about shit and that she's going to waste your time. You understand? <laughs> He's exactly not already said she ain't fucking facts. Facts. You said what what do you have to do if the bad boy membership payment failed? You gotta check your your, your credit cards, bro. That's something you gotta do on, on, on your end. You understand? Then this air conditioner is is good as shit. I'm like fucking cold out this month in this motherfucker for a second. Hold on, let me I'm gonna turn this on a little later, but shit, it's fucking Cold in this bitch right now. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go through this one through five. Uh, Miles is supposed to be coming in a second. Uh, but I'm going to go one through five. This is in no order of importance. But <laughs> I'm going to tell you ways you can tell that a woman ain't about shit. She's going to waste your time. Uh, you know, you're going to be wasting time dealing with this girl. So just, you know, just kick her to the curb. Don't really uh, take her seriously. All that other shit. You feel what I'm saying? Oh shit! Hold on, hold on. I think we got Miles in the building. What up? What's popping? What's going what's on? What's good? What's good? What's the deal? Did you did you talk about the Game Kings documentary? Nah, fuck that shit, son. Fuck that. <laughs> <I'm>, uh, <laughs> no, no, we 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 did. I was telling them, listen, man. But you know, we can never talk about that enough because the, the fucking documentary is so fired. Do you guys not understand this? If you guys are not on the Bad Boy membership, and shout out to everybody who's been joining the Bad Boy membership, because not only do you get to see the documentary, um, you also uh, are going to get all the other Bad Boy membership programs, audio and video program tutorials on there. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, and the game is heavy. So make sure you guys get the likes up as soon as you come into this motherfucker, because the game about to be heavy today. You feel what I'm saying? 
And if you want even heavier, heavier game, if you want more shit popping, you got to go on that bad boy membership. You feel what I'm saying? So, so Miles, you're talking about five ways to tell a woman ain't shit and we'll waste your time. So I got, I got a list here and then we just going to go through the list. I was like, I'm, I was like, I'm sure Miles is going to like this fucking topic. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, man. I only got five. I don't know. He's like, I only got five. <laughs> there were like 500 reasons. Nah, so we just go, we just go and talk about this and, and get into it. And then we'll, we'll, we'll take some calls later if you guys get the likes up and we'll get a cracking. All right. So the first thing I got on the list, the first thing I got on the list is, is that she won't give you a direct answer. When you're trying to meet up with her, okay, she will not give you a direct answer when you're trying to meet up with her. So, this could be a chick you talking to online, a chick you probably met somewhere, got her number, you're hitting her up, you're trying to say, hey, yo, let's let's hang out tomorrow, let's hang out, uh, you know, this weekend. Are you free? You understand? Like you're you're getting into that part of the conversation. Now, a woman who's a, a damn time waster and who ain't about shit. She's going to do a few things, but she's going to try to avoid setting anything up with you or, or doing anything because she's not really trying to see you. She's using you for attention. So she'll say some shit like uh, either this will happen. Sometimes you're going to on, a, on Tinder. You say, hey, when are you free? Let's get together. And she'll stop talking to you altogether. So that'll happen. Like you'll get women who will just stop talking to you, period. Then another thing might happen where you might ask the chick. You might say to a chick, hey, we should go get a drink this this Friday. And she'll respond to you and she'll say, oh, hey, uh, you know, have you seen that new movie with Ryan Reynolds or some shit? She'll start talking about some other stuff. You, <laughs> my personal favorite is when they say, or is when I say, yo, we should get a drink Friday. Or, you know, tell me when you're free. Right. And they say, and they say, maybe. Oh, my God. Exactly. You already know they ain't about shit. <laughs> is that what I'm saying? You already know. You already know. Or the worst is, uh, you know, can we talk on here more? You understand? Like that that shit just irks my nerves. And again, all of this really is, understand this, and I'll say this before we get into the rest of the things, is that anytime a chick's wasting your time, that just means she ain't really feeling you. She's not feeling you like that. Right. You understand? Women who waste your time are not feeling you. It's that simple. You understand? They're really not feeling you. And- and and the thing is, they could be half. They could have like halfway medium interest in you, but they're not really, really feeling you. So when you try to set up a date, and she's giving, and she's on some, oh, let's talk on here more, or you, you know, you you got her number already, and you saying let's get let's get together Friday. She's like, oh, maybe I'm not sure. Can I get back to you? Or she'll just totally change the subject and won't actually answer your question. You understand what I'm saying? So it's 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 ridiculous. You understand? The only- the, the the way that I deal with those situations is I get more and more specific. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I get I just I just like so are you like you know let's go get a drink Friday. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe. Right. Like, my next my next text usually is I it's like I move forward as if she said yes. Right, exactly, right. Like, I'm like okay, let's meet here Friday at 7:30 and I send her the Google link and address to the place. Right. You understand? Right. Mm-hmm. And then I say, I'm gonna hit you up, you know, Friday around 1 p.m. to reconfirm our plans. Like my right. students, I don't give a fuck. So it's either you have to fucking say yes, I'm gonna meet you, or mm-hmm. no, I'm not interested. Right. Exactly. And, 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 and this is the part, this is the fucking part that like going back to the conversation that we had yesterday about confidence and, and like being so dependent on the results. Right. It's like, look. <clears throat> I don't, you're in this wishy-washy stage where you're talking about maybe or this, that, and the third, and you're acting like you don't want to make a, a, a choice. Mm-hmm. My confidence is about what I'm trying to do Friday. Right. It's not about you saying yes or no. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because right. if, as soon as you say, as soon as you make a choice, either we going out or I'm going to give another bitch that chance. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? And that's what these dudes don't, don't understand about confidence. They, they, they think... Oh, well, if I have enough confidence, she'll say yes. No, no, no. If you have enough confidence, you'll ask your question specifically so she has to say yes or no. Right. And then mm-hmm. once she says no, then she's out of the picture 
and you and you you know you gotta you gotta you know call up another chick or you know get back to your cold approaching or or swiping or whatever the fuck you do. Right. You know I mean? Facts. The merciless six said, you know my my favorite used to be I'm on, I'm just on here to chat. That's why I stopped online dating years ago. Better the cold approach. Exactly. Because chicks. He, see the thing is, for women, women are very, very good at convincing themselves that they're not full of shit. You understand uh, what I'm saying? Uh, they're, they're, they're masters at this. It's it's almost beautiful to watch because chicks will say a bunch. A chick will will literally say to to merciless six. She'll be like, "Hey, I'm just on here to chat," and then Miles will match with her. And Miles would be like, let's meet up Friday. And she'd be like, okay, right? Literally within two minutes apart from each other. So she's saying to him, I'm just here to chat. But she's saying to the other guy, let's meet up. And she she, she knows what she's doing. But if you were to call her on it, she'll be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't do that. I don't, you understand what I'm saying? So that's what it was. Uh, that's what happens um, with a lot of these chicks. When you're very full of shit. I want to show you something. I want to show you guys. <laughs> No, nah, because this is real shit, though. Uh, this is real shit, and I have to, and I have to like uh, cover the cover the because I can't put her name on the on the fucking thing. You understand? Right. But, uh, but look, look at this. Let me let me put the the thing up. Is is it too bright? Can you read it? Yeah, I can see it a little bit. Is it, I, I, hold on, hold on. Let me adjust my screen brightness. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that'll help. Hold on. Right. Is that better? Yeah, that's a little bit better. So he says, he said, be ready by 1.30. Oh, no, no, no. Start from the beginning. Okay, he says. She, she, asked me, she asked me, how you know, hey, how are you doing? Right? right. And then I said, not bad. Running errands and such. How are you? Right. right? And then and then uh, she said, I'm home just relaxing. I said, cool. How about I come get you? Right. right? And, she, and here go the wishy-washy shit. Right. She said, really? Mm-hmm. My next fucking text was be ready by 1.30. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And because she know the type of nigga I am, look at her next question. Am I supposed to dress up? Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. And then I said, no need to dress up, but look nice. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? So you're not, you're not even paying attention to what the I'm fuck she's talking about. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not even... I'm you know, like I'm bow bow. <laughs> remember, remember back in the day, Martin, when exactly. he was like, watching shit. Bow bow. bow. Like, like I don't I don't give a fuck about your. I'm not getting into the really. Oh, oh why would why would I not come pick you up? What's the yeah. matter? You don't think you don't believe me? Niggas right. get caught up into that shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, my next text is be ready by this time. Facts. To let you know I'm not playing with you. Mm -hmm. Because what mm -hmm. you texted me for, I didn't text you. You text me talking about, hey, how you doing? What's going on? How's your day going? Right. And I'm like, all right, how's your day going? Oh, I'm mm -hmm. nothing, nothing. I'm just chilling right. Okay, boom. I'm going to come get you. Really? Right. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, 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 a lot of niggas would have texted her back, yes, really. Right, right. My next text is be ready by this time. Mm -hmm. I'm Yo, y'all niggas want to talk about receipts though, right? <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> I'm not yo, come on, son. Because look, because look, what 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 dudes don't understand is part of what makes a chick waste your time is you're participating in helping her waste your time. What? You feel what I'm saying? Yo, say that shit again. Say yeah, that shit again. exactly. Part of what makes a chick waste your time is you're helping her, you're participating in helping her waste your time. Is that simple? Is that simple? It's, it's just, it's just. You know what I'm saying? Because you're you're going along with, and and see, that's that's a key thing you gotta understand. Yeah, that's a key thing you gotta understand. Is that women like this is why guys who are on point and who are masculine are able to get the woman to follow them, and shit goes down because. If you're a guy who's on some beta male shit and you're following women, you're doing whatever the fuck they say to do, you're going to get caught up and you're going to get lost in the shit that they're doing. They're going to take you down all of these paths right. that's going to lead you to nowhere. You right. feel what I'm saying? So right. that's why 
You got it. You got it. And this is the thing. You got basically two things you can do: have her follow you or stop fucking with her. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. It's really That's that simple. It. Because look, a lot of dudes are scared to to like pull up, pull a move like that, and be like, "Yo, be ready at this time." Mm-hmm. I'm not, mm-hmm. Bro, I was I was handling my day the way I was handling my day. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If she if she didn't want to fucking do nothing. Then I'm not worried because if she if she front like oh well, well I'm not really in the mood and blah blah. Fine, my yeah, we're good. Same, bro. Right. right. You know my mm-hmm. day's gonna go on the same. So why why even fucking you know entertain the oh really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bitch, like exactly exactly. And I, and I the part that I loved the part that I loved was that right after I said be ready at this time this bitch is on some. Well, you know, how should I dress? Right. Right. Because it's like right then and there, I let her know. It's like I it's like I, I it's like I'm walking a dog mm-hmm. and it's trying to pull me down the street. Right. Pull me across the street and I snatch that bitch back. Exactly. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Facts. Facts. So once I said be ready, she's like, oh shit, this nigga serious. Mm-hmm. Yo, what how how should I dress? What you know, what's going on? Like mm-hmm. Cause, mm-hmm. Cause, I'm dealing with a real nigga. Like you feel right, me? Right, right. Facts. Real fucking talk. Real fucking talk, man. So, so the first, the first way you're gonna show, I uh, know she's gonna waste your time, but she's not gonna give you that direct answer about meeting up. Right now, the second, second thing we got on the list is if a chick does not follow your instructions. Okay, if a chick does not follow your instructions, she ain't about shit. She gonna waste your time. So, for example, let's say you um. Uh, let's let's go with the online thing. So we be sticking on that. Let's say you're on online dating, and you tell the chick, "Hey, here's my number. Text me, right?" And then she sends you a message again on the app instead of texting you on your phone, right? That's a sign that the chick's gonna waste his time because she doesn't follow instructions. So when you try to instruct her to do other shit, like, hey, meet me here, come to my spot, do this, do that, she's going to waste your time because she ain't going to do shit. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yo, real quick, look at this nigga. Mike Olivia, Michael Olivia talking about. <laughs> he said he saw Game Kings five times since last night. That's what's up. That's what's up. He ain't get no sleep then. He just been up. He just been up. Shout out to you. Shout out to you, bro. That's what I'm telling you guys. Get on that bad boy membership. So that you can check out the Game Kings. The Game Kings is fucking fire. Fire. It's ridiculous. It's, it, come on, guys. Y'all, y'all don't know what y'all missing. If y'all ain't up on that. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. If she's not listening to your instructions, she's going to be a time waster than she ain't about shit. Because what happens is, is that women, again, women who like you are going to make shit easy. They're going to comply. They're going right. to do the things you're saying. You understand what I'm saying? They're going to do the shit. And so what happens is that when you're giving a woman instructions and she's ignoring them right. or she's making it difficult, that's a sign she's not really interested. Exactly. And, and, and so that at that point, she's just using you or looking at you as someone that she could use for attention. Right. You're her plaything now. You understand what I'm saying? That's the thing. And Chicks just be playing around. And, and, that's, and, that, and, that's, and that goes back to the, to the other point, right? Like, th- that's what happened with guys participate. Mm-hmm. Because here's what it is with with with, with a lot of dudes, I, I believe. Because I and the reason why I know this is because I've been there, right? right? Where you're you're trying to do shit with a chick, but you mm-hmm. subconsciously you have this frame of mind where you're you're just happy to be even texting back and forth with a bitch or talking back and forth with a, with a bitch on the phone. You understand? Mm-hmm. So it's like she's making things difficult, and instead of giving her a real ult- like a real type like ultimatum type of response right. how I did with the with the be ready by 130 some mm. dudes don't want to actually deal with the reality that she really might not be interested exactly so they exactly. would rather play the game they would rather mm. and that's what's that's what's really called playing games you know how when right. we talk about game, niggas like oh why would I want to play games it's like yeah you love playing games with bitches because you don't want to deal with the reality that this specific chick might not be fucking with you. Exactly. You understand? Know so you like you cool with being stuck in the friend zone or painting her house or taking her out or doing all mm-hmm. these things. Mm-hmm. That's because you don't want her to because the here's the thing with chicks. It's like when they're feeling you, it's easy. But I'm gonna tell you a secret. When right. they're not feeling you, it's easy too. 
Right, exactly, right. You feel me? Because when you let her know exactly what you want from her, mm -hmm. and if she refuses, you can, at that point, you can let her go. Exactly, exactly. And it's easy. It's easy. Mm -hmm. You get to move on to other chicks. She mm -hmm. actually, she frees up your time and your mind and your energy and your, and your everything. Right. You know? So now you have the opportunity to give that attention to someone else who might be actually feeling you. Right. Some, some dudes, right. it's like, and like I said, I've been there. Like I've been in that situation where it's like, man, this bitch is a trip. Like I'm, I'm tired of dealing with this shit, but mm. she's the only chick I got in my phone right now. So I'm going to just keep, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep up with the back and forth for no. Right. Right. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? And it's like dudes don't want to dudes, dudes don't want to do that because they might actually force her to say, listen, I'm not that interested. I'm not feeling exactly. It. And right. that part right there is a part that scares so many dudes to death, bro. Mm -hmm. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I and I'm right. like, and that's how that's how you know you graduated in game where you're not look, you saw my text. Mm -hmm. You think I was afraid if she said, Well, nah, I'm not that I'm not ready for that, I'm not in the mood for that. Right. Oh, don't come pick me up. Right. You get what I'm saying? You think mm -hmm. I was scared for that to happen? No, I wasn't scared for that to happen. Because mm -hmm. like I said, my day would have went on anyway. Right. Exactly. My day went on anyway, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm exactly. saying? So nah, you can't you can't be afraid mm -hmm. to make her shit or get off the pot. Period. Right. <laughs> now nah, real talk. Real talk. And see, that's the thing, like you gotta understand that you know. And this is the thing. At the beginning, when you start fucking with chicks, you want to get them in and out quick, as quickly as possible. You want meaning that you want to quickly know if the girl is feeling you and if she's about what you're about as soon as possible so that you don't have to waste your time. You understand? Know like even 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 like with online dating, when you're meeting a chick or you're meeting a chick in, in person at a bar club, street, wherever the hell you're meeting a chick, right? You got to be able to have the the you got to get used to that should be that should almost be your comfort zone is charging them for the game you feel what i'm saying like right. it's nothing but see the, because dudes got a scarcity mindset like you said they'll play they'll play all those games because most guys think that you know uh they this because this is how most guys uh game is they deal with women who string them along right like for a long time and then a small percentage of those women might give them pussy. Mm. So then that becomes their, their reality. So they're like, oh, I guess I got I to gotta go through this bullshit to get to the pussy. Right. So then they go through the bullshit with every other woman. And every other woman is giving them the bullshit because they're the type of guy who will go through the bullshit. Right. They can tell. A woman could tell who she could play games with. You understand? So what happens is, is that sometimes they'll just cast a wide net of, I'm going to play games with all these niggas. And then when she finds a dude that she can't play games with, she sometimes charges herself to the game. You know what I'm saying? So as long as you're on point and you can make the shit happen, you just got you just gotta uh, remember that you don't need to have her. You understand? If she's not trying to make something happen, you're wasting your fucking time. Just keep it moving. Guys, get the likes up. We got 170 some people watching right now. We only got 70 likes. Hit the like button, people. Hit that motherfucking like button. So now we're up to number three. Up to number three. The third way to tell a woman ain't shit, a woman ain't about shit, and she will waste your time, is that she's inconsistently responsive. Mm. Right? She's inconsistently responsive. What does that mean? For example, <clears throat> you text a girl and you say, hey, what's up? You know, what's going on with you today? Right? She says, oh, I'm fine. You say, cool. Uh, we should get together uh, you know, later on. What, what's up with you? Right? Then you won't hear from this chick for seven hours. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And then you finally hear from her. She'd be like, oh, my bad. I was, uh, you know, I was something happened. I fell asleep. I was tired. Whatever. Right? So then you're like, you're, and your dumb ass is like, okay, you know, so, so, uh, can we hang out, you know, next week? And she's like, yeah, sure. That sounds good. Right. And then you say, okay, cool. When are you free? You don't hear from her for another three days. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so she's responding to you, but it's inconsistent. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And that's because you're just one of many guys who she has as a backup. Right. For if she's extremely bored 
and nothing else is going on. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And when you say guys do the same thing, no, this is the thing. Guys don't, there's guys who do the same. See, this is, I'm glad she brought that up though. I'm glad she brought that up. Cause this, this is, this is, this is the type of guys you usually have. You got the top 10% of guys, or let's say, let's give them 20. Let's say the top 20% of guys who, who are the attractive guys, right. right? Half of those guys, which is 10% are fuck boys. They're fuck niggas. They don't, they don't, they on some bullshit. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, they might be physically attractive and they might have some qualities as far as surface level that women may like. So then they, these women try to get with these guys and then those guys are being inconsistent because they're all over the place. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Now you have the other 10% of guys who's on point, like Miles, who's like, look, I'll be there at 1, 130, be ready. You understand what I'm saying? So what happens is, is that that's, that's kind of how it goes down. Now, the, the, the difference with women the difference when it comes to the woman's side and when, when men are dealing with women is that most women are like that. You understand? Whereas only 10% of guys would be like that. Mm. Meaning because only the, the 10% are the only ones that you're dealing with, that right. most women are dealing with. You feel what I'm saying? That's, that's, who, that's who most women are dealing with. They're dealing with that 10%. There's 80% of guys over there that would love to be on a date with these women that would love to text them and, 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 you know, be all up in their DMS and all that other stuff, which most of them try to be in. Right. But those are the guys that me- women don't want. So this is why women are always, cause you, you know, it's funny. It's like, you know, when, when women will say, um, it's hard to find a good man or I can't find a man. Right. It's because they're all going for the same guys. They're literally all going for the same guys. Now to be fair, Men are all going for the same women when it comes to relationships. For sex, we'll fuck anybody. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. <laughs> you know what I mean? But for women, Bad women man. are a little different. Women don't want to fuck with no dudes really seriously or give them any type of real cooperation unless she's attracted to him. So women, so the same way where we'll fuck a whole bunch of women, like guys will fuck anybody. Women will waste any guy's time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's that's kind of like how it goes. You know what I mean? It's, it's weird how that happens. So it's on both ends, we got like different shit going on. So we got 200 people watching and we only got 86 likes. We need to get them likes up, people. We need to get them likes up, people. It's real easy like, to click the button to like the video. Yo, y'all about to make my confidence go down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> now, now the fourth, we are to the fourth one. Get them like so. <laughs> the fourth way to tell a woman ain't about shit and she'll waste your time. Is if she's a woman? No. <laughs> <He says you. laughs> <laughs> Is if she's asking you for a lot, but she's only giving you pussy. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So if a woman if a woman is asking you for a lot, right? But she's only giving you pussy in return, she ain't about shit. Right. You understand know what I'm saying? So what I mean, what do I mean by a lot? I mean that this woman, she wants your time, she wants your attention, she wants you to take her out a bunch of time, she wants your money, she wants you to listen to her shit, right? She 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 wants you to help her out with whatever it is, right? And so what happens is is that she'll want all this stuff from you, but in return, she's only giving you the pussy. She's not doing anything else for you. Right. Bitch, bitch, bitch be smoking up niggas' weed like all day, son. Exactly. She's smoking yeah. up all your weed. Yeah. She's doing, she's, doing that. she's doing the most. And all she's doing in return is giving you pussy. And see, the, 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 way, to, the way to figure this out is you got to say to yourself, if this chick wasn't fucking me, what would she be doing? What, what, what benefit would I be getting from her right now? Right. Now, it's one thing if you just got a fuck buddy. That's nothing. That's cool. If if you are meeting a chick, y'all hit y'all fuck, and that's all y'all doing, and you keep it moving, that's cool. But if you if you're fucking a girl, but she's she's asking so much of you and so much of your time, energy, attention, all that other stuff, and all she's doing is fucking, she ain't shit. She ain't about shit. And she's wasting the time. 
Because what happens is that she's draining you of resources. She's draining you of energy. And all she's doing is having sex with you. Mm. Right? She's not helping you with nothing. She ain't even cooking you a goddamn sandwich. Nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Like, she ain't doing shit. Now, again, if she's just a fuck buddy, cool. Y'all fuck. Y'all keep it moving. Y'all keep it pushing. That's the agreement. Right. But if she if she's on some, she want to spend the night now. She want to hang out more. She want to talk to you on the phone for an hour. She, you know, she want to borrow some money. She, you know, like, it's just like, what the fuck are you? No. Because what happens is, is that you're giving, 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 and she's just taking, taking, taking. And then she's like, oh, but here, you can have some pussy. No, that's not a, that's not a good deal at all. You understand what I'm saying? But if, but if it's just sex, it just got to be about sex. Like, I remember I had this chick who was a fuck buddy where I remember I went to her house. I probably got to her house about, like, 5.30 or something. We started fucking by, like, 5.40, and I was out by 6.15. You understand what I'm saying? And that was that was just it. Like, it wasn't no hanging out, talking with you, getting to know about your day, and, you know, none of that shit. So that was cool. You feel what I'm saying? But dudes be on some thinking that the girl's doing something for them just because they get pussy. And, and, and this is how this is how low level certain guys think is because they think that's like great. They're like, well, well, well at least I'm getting sex. Nigga, what? Yeah, you getting sex, but she, she's getting everything from you. Right. You she's getting everything from you. And all she gave you was pussy. And so that's how you guys get caught up because y'all now now y'all are not actually requiring anything more from this chick. Like, tell her to do some shit. When she on, on when she's on her way to your house, be like, listen, stop by the grocery store and pick me up these th these things. Tell her to do something. You understand what I'm saying? Tell her to fucking do your laundry. Tell her to clean up your fucking house. Something. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you, you can't have a chick around you that much taking all that shit. And then fucking uh, you know, just giving you pussy. That's 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 not cool. That's whack. You understand what I'm saying? That's some ancient nonsense. Now, hold on, let me see how much likes we got. Let me see how much likes we got. Okay, we up to 100 likes. That's what's up. That's what's up. <coughs> so we going I'm gonna talk about the last way, and then we're gonna get some calls. Let me turn on the speaker real quick. Turn on the speaker first. Let me get the 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 the, the Skype popping. Out in this bitch. If we make it to next year, we're gonna have to start. We're, we're gonna have to start asking for like 150 likes before we start calls, bro. Right, exactly. Right, for real. <laughs> yeah, like, come on, man. Up, yeah. the, up the ante, for real. You gotta struggle for 100 likes. Yeah, yeah, I'm mm -hmm. on you. Mm -hmm. Now nah, that's facts. That's facts. That's facts. The guys that gave y'all game kings the definition of game. <laughs> out here, we out here struggling for likes. Come on, man. Y'all could do better than that. For real, I know your parents are like, better than that shit, man. Come on, for real, just hit the hit that like button, hit that fucking like button. Um, let me try to put this this speaker on real quick. So yeah, so we up to the fifth one. Let's talk about the fifth one. Now this one is hilarious. This one is, and I, and I, and I kind of talked about this at one point, but uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get too deep into it. But we got, we got to talk about this shit. Hold on, let me, uh, let me post this shit up. All right, connecting to the Skype. Cool, cool. All right, so the Skype is good. Now we up to the fifth one, the fifth joint. So the fifth, <laughs> the fifth way to tell if a woman ain't about shit and she's gonna waste your time is if she's a chick who, what I would call, and this is what I call these chicks, I call. These chicks, smart, dumb bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if she's a smart, dumb bitch, she is going to waste your fucking time and she ain't about shit. So what is a smart, dumb bitch, right? A smart, dumb bitch, for example, is a chick who thinks she's woke. You understand what I'm saying? She, she thinks she's smarter than she is. She has to, she feels she has to teach you something. She has to explain shit to you. You understand? She has to tell you why you're wrong about being a man. So, for example, you'll have chicks that'll be like, you know, chicks that'll come to you like, my brother, let me explain to you why it is not right to call a woman a bitch. You see, my brother, when you say that about women, right, you are 
dissing all women, my brother. You can't, you understand what I'm saying? Like, she started giving you lectures and shit. And you're looking at her like, yo, I'm just trying to fuck. Like, why are we, why are we having a discussion? You understand what I'm saying? She wants, she wants to school you on shit. And then also what'll happen is, and the reason why I say she's a smart, dumb chick is because she's smart enough to be able to string thoughts together, but she's dumb enough to not realize that she ain't really smart. You understand what I'm saying? So <laughs> she was, she's just singing shit and she's trying to uh, 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 you know, project a certain type of image that's not really her. You understand what I'm saying? She wants to she wants to show you that she's she's better than she thinks she is. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 so those chicks are the worst. Now there's there exactly uh, uh unique 79 that 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 condescending condescending game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit is the worst. And and so like I've had chicks especially this is the, this is the worst type of smart dumb bitch. The ones who are young who's in like graduate school or some shit. They learned some new shit in school and now they want to, they think they know stuff or they think they know the world. And I'm just like, oh, because <clears throat> instead of trying to suck your dick, they want to show you how smart they are. So they want to get into conversations and discussions about the world and about energy and about chakras. And I'm just like, shut the fuck up. I don't, and this is what I'm saying. They're going to waste your time. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because... They can't just fuck you because they have they, you have to acknowledge how smart she is before you can get in her pants. Because wow. to her, getting in just getting in her pants is beneath her. She you have to you have to be the type of man who's mature enough to be able to handle a smart chick like her and to be able to see her worth and all that other extra shit before you have sex. You understand what I'm saying? So <laughs> so these are the type of chicks that they're definitely going to waste your time. And they ain't about shit because, you know, they remind me a lot so much this on uh, the show I did earlier with Steve. You remember on In Living Color? Remember yeah. Damon Wayans when he was in the jail cell? He was doing all those big ass words. My brother, see, the intellectual, intellectualization of the stimulation of the mechanisms of the matrix, my brother, you see, has, you, you, they on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't stay. And see, the, the, the thing is this. Those <laughs> women, those are usually the most insecure women, and they're masking their insecurity with their pseudo-intellectual, uh, you know, energy, that 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 energy they're bringing. Exactly. The, the bastard children of Erica Badu. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, yo. Oh, man. I, 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 can't, I can't take it. I can't take it. But that's what it is, man. Them smart dumb bitches, they will waste your goddamn time. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, they'll waste you, your time. You gotta you gotta stick a fork in that shit early. Right, right. You gotta, you gotta be like, yo, we fucking or not. Like I'm exactly I'm, right. <laughs> and you know what the funny part is? A lot of dudes who are simps and 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 betas, they will entertain that shit with from a woman. You understand what I'm saying? She'll be talking all that shit. He'll be looking at her like he's mesmerized and he's like, you know, like he's he's all about what she's saying and he's impressed by no, you understand what I'm saying? And that all that's doing is in, in, enabling her to feel as if what she's talking about is worth some shit. And it's like, no, no, it's not. See, let me tell you what a real smart woman is. I'm gonna tell you what a real smart woman is. It's simple. Real smart woman is simple. A real small woman says to herself, what can I do to improve this man's life? Mm. Oh, ah, that's it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's it. Because she know by improving his life, her life's going to be improved. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's what that is. But guys, you guys can call up 646-481-3901. Remember, the Game Kings is out right now. You can go to badboymembership.com to get the Game Kings, to watch the Game Kings, to check that shit out. You guys go, go, go to badboymembership.com right now. Well, let me make sure the Skype preferences is good. Yo, April needs to zoom in on that picture. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Uh, let me see. Let me make sure this, uh, this, 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 this Skype joint. Shout out to my dude, uh, uh, 
Anton for the $5 donation. And shout out to my dude, uh, Curves for the $5 donation. Appreciate you. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, what's popping? Who this? Yo. Yo, Carl, what's good, man? What's going on? Who's this? It's Curve from Florida. What's going on, bro? What's up, Mal? What up, man? Yo, How you doing? Yo, quick question, man. Um, do you think it's a smart move to uh, smash a girl that lives in the same apartment building as you? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. All right. Because I went to the gas station the other day. Mm. And I saw the shorty, then I give her my number, mm. and then she texts me. But as we drive, and I notice mm. she stay across my building. You know what I mean, right? So I'm like, fuck. So I'm like, should I just go ahead and try and smash, or just just leave it alone? You know what I mean, because you know, like when she goes home, she'll see my car, my apartment building, every single day. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, I don't know. You know how some people are, you know what I mean, like. So I'm trying to figure it out. Is it a smart move to uh, smash a girl that I leave in the same apartment building as you or a Christian building I'm in? But yeah. you said it's straight, right? Ain't nothing wrong with that as long as you're keeping it real with her. See, you got, that's what I'm about to say. As long as you're keeping it real right. with her, you got to be like, honest with her. Because she already be like, listen, we're we going to do this. Um, and just letting you know, I'm going to be bringing other chicks in here. So don't be, don't be catching feelings and acting up. You know what I'm saying? And that's that. So just, just the only thing is you don't want to, you don't want to uh, lie to her or pretend it's something more than it is. If she starts liking you, you understand what I'm saying? Just be honest with her. Just be like, look, we just fucking, we just hooking up, and that's gonna be it. You understand what I'm saying? All right, back. Good looking out, man. All right, bro. All right, man. I'm out. Right, peace, peace, peace. He sounds right. like he got, he like he got a baby mom that live with him or some shit. Probably he got some shit going on. He, and he don't want her to find out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what be happening sometimes, dude. I mean, dude's be <laughs> you're supposed to be honest with bitches anyway, though. You feel me, like right? <laughs> right. Hold on, hold on. Yo, what's popping? Who this? Terrence from the Bronx. Terrence was popping. I got a question to ask you. Go ahead. Did you donate? Yes. We donated just that. Just now. We donated it. Just now, two dollars. PayPal. PayPal. Hold on, I'm looking right now. I don't see it. I see. I see my dude, uh, Club Rope, with the five dollar donation in PayPal. I don't see your PayPal. Yeah. It was just now. It was just now. Like literally. Like just now. Like, like just now. Like. He said just now. All right. What's your question? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, how you deal with women? Like, who? They start off as feminine, but then they start acting masculine for some reason. Like, I don't know how you deal with that shit. All right, how how how's, what, how do they act masculine? Give me an example. <laughs> like they they try to like oh like oh you lower your toe you lower your toe and shit like that. But in the beginning, everything was all like you know she was all feminine like this and that. And then is it like a sign of loss of attraction or like what's that what's that a sign of when it just Hey hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this French Montana? I swing you sound like French Montana nigga. You sound like French Montana. People tell you that, right? Nah, who's that? You, oh shit, that's fucked up for French Montana. That's a rapper. That's a rapper, but you sound like him. But anyway, nah, um yeah. nah, so if she if if she acted masculine, you gotta you gotta Fucking uh, call that a day with her, bro. Because that means Wait, that at first, if she. Real right quick, did you say that the bitch said that he got to lower his tone? Yeah. Oh, she's charged immediately. We're done. Exactly. You, you got to get rid of her. Because all, if she. And the thing is, if she was act, if she was on some feminine shit, because I, I find it hard to believe a chick will be that feminine and then all of a sudden she just switch up talking about watch your tone. You understand? Know she must have already had some yeah. fucking uh um she already must have had that 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 masculine energy from the jump, but you ain't you ain't recognize it, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, she, like okay, and also like, you know, 
and then they take longer to text back. Like I'm done with soccer, like with a, a tick to switch this up. Like they, before I text it fast, now it takes longer, and mm. now I'm more mask, I get more masculine. Like, like well, my do they switch up? Like that's because they, the, that's because she ain't feeling you. It's that simple. She not feeling you, which okay. that's why she's switching up. A chick, a chick is, a chick is going to stay consistent with her being cooperative, her wanting to make something happen with you if she's feeling you. If she's not feeling you, she's going to start switching up. But also sometimes she starts yeah. sometimes she starts switching up because you start switching up. You understand what I'm saying? So you no, might have came at her on some shit. Like, I feel like she's still keeping around like when I go live and shit, she still come on my live and like trying to like Oh, because cause once I felt like she was changing up, I, I went cold on her. Mm -hmm. So then she was like, oh, why didn't you hit me back and this and that? And I'm like, because I was like, I didn't say why, but. And why, know, and why didn't you say that. why? You should tell her why. You're like, look, I ain't fucking with you because you, you act in this way. So if you want to, if you want to fuck with me, then you got to start acting the way I need you to act. And that's what you need to tell them. Uh, and what, what's your thoughts on like living with a chick? Like. Is that a is that a no a no go or what like like living with a chick? It depends. You don't you know you don't live with no chick that you just started fucking with. But if you've been with a chick for a few years and she's she's your girl and she's on point, then yeah, you could live with her if that's your girlfriend and, and y'all been together for a few years and she's uh, cooperative. She takes the direction, all that other shit. And oh, if, uh, but what is like it's it's her trip though, like you <laughs> so on oh, that a no go. Like you said you trip. said wait, hold on, you said if it's her crib? Yeah. Listen, they, there like, ain't listen, there ain't no such thing as her crib. It's is my crib. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Even if it was her crib, but as soon as I came in, it's my crib. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's how you gotta look at it. Yo, can, can, coming out the speaker. What say it again? You got him coming out the speaker. No, yeah, yeah. He yeah. coming turn out the speaker. Turn him down just a little bit. Turn him down. Okay. Just a little bit. All right. So, call it, what are you saying? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. So if it's oh like if it's her crib, we just like take over the crib. We say that's what you say. Right. No. What I'm saying is that as a man, you're supposed to have dominion over everything you fucking doing. <laughs> you understand everything you're involved in. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. so the thing is, if you if you dealing with a chick, and even if you was like, okay, we gonna move into your spot, or I'm moving into your spot. Now it's I'm taking over and controlling and and and, and directing the situation in this in this you know, and right here I'm doing I'm doing this. So so the thing is is that if you're looking at it like, well, it's her place or whatever, whatever, right? Then that's you already. Fucking up by not taking the leadership role. You understand what I'm saying? Oh. All right. All right, man. Good luck, here, man. All right, bro. Appreciate yeah, the call, my brother. Donate, donate, donate. Fuck ass. Don't donate. Exactly right. Shit, you fronting on the donation? Come on, man. Yo, what's poppin'? Who this? Yo, what's happening? This is Merciless from the chat. What's going on, fam? Did you donate? Uh, yeah, actually, it's under my business, Club Rope LLC. Okay, I got you. What's good with you, fam? Yeah, well, I got a question for Miles. Mm. Let's get at Miles for a second. What is the importance of embracing rejection? Now, the thing is, y'all two always go on about, you know, how cats are scared of the cold approach and everything, you know what I'm saying? But real talk, what are the benefits of being rejected? Because I know you guys got to have game for that. Like, what is the benefit of being rejected, Miles? What is the benefit of being rejected? Yeah, what's the benefit of being rejected? We all go, we all go catch some L someday. I caught my L. But really, what do these cats need to know about what's mm. actually really, really good about being rejected? So there's a lot of benefits of being rejected. I said, uh, I said one of them earlier where I was saying that. Um, <clears throat> What it's easy whether she's fucking with you or whether or she's not. The fact is, if she's fucking with you, then then you get to fuck with her. But if mm -hmm. she's not fucking with you, then you're free. You get you're freed up to move on to the next bitch. That's one mm -hmm. benefit. It it frees up it frees up your time and energy so you can go on to pursue other females. Um, another thing about getting rejected is it increases 
if you if you look at it the right way, it increases your your overall so, social skills, meaning that you get you get to develop a tougher skin, so you know how to control mm-hmm. yourself. You know how to control your emotions in the game. You understand? Because here's here's the thing: like if you were if you were if bitches was to say yes to you every time, right? Like you, let's say you've been in game for the last five years, and and not one bitch ever said no to you. And then one one day a bitch actually says no to you out of the blue. You're gonna be devastated. You understand? Right. What I mean? But if you're a dude who understands, <laughs> yeah, that would happen. Who, who, who understands the process of of uh, of of uh, <laughs> why the word is, is escaping me? Understands the process of rejection. Then you you've developed a tough skin where you you know how to deal with it. You understand what I'm saying? And again, a lot of dudes talk about taking L's. It's not about taking L's. Not every bitch is for you, bro. Right. Not every bitch is for you, and that's just that's just reality. Not every bitch is feeling you. Not every bitch is in the right state of mind. She probably just you know lost her job. She's on her period, or she's a fucking crazy ass woman with emotions that go from here to there. It don't matter. It really don't matter. So. What's the benefit of getting rejected? The benefit of getting rejected is is just dealing with the reality of the game and increasing your overall, you know, experience of the game. Period. You understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That's that's the benefits of it. If you're if you're dealing with this game and you don't you don't understand rejection or if you've never been rejected, then you're missing like the whole other half of the game. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because this shit is about balance. This shit ain't never been about oh I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have so much fucking game. That every bitch I holler at is gonna fuck with me. Right. <laughs> never been that has never been the goal. The goal is to deal with all types of bitches, bitches who's feeling you and bitches who's not feeling you. Right. So you can learn how to build yourself up. So you can build your mouthpiece. So you can learn. It's not an L, it's not an L meaning a loss, it's an L meaning a lesson. Every time mm-hmm. you deal with a chick, maybe you maybe you said the wrong thing, or maybe you, you know, you did something you shouldn't have did. That's a lesson that you're supposed to record. Mm-hmm. And then and then you know, embrace embrace the lesson, and then make your game better as you move along. You get what I'm right. saying? Facts. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Real talk. <laughs> Yo, I feel that. I feel that. And as far as uh, when it comes to the appearance deal, you, know, you know, I don't mean to bring up the same old uh, rich money status shit again that we always keep on beating up on. But real talk, for the men out there that really don't necessarily get it when it comes to the old parent thing, when in your opinion, you know, Lucario, you know, chime in, man, chime in, chime in. When do you think it is like the time for a man to really be concerned about his appearance now? Because real talk, some of us just develop into something better. You know what I mean? Depending on the genetics or what type of season or what type of trends is going on when it comes to fashion and all that shit. But when does a when when does a man usually get that bell rung in his head where it's like, you know what? Maybe it's time for me to do this. Maybe it's time to do that. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Listen, you know, like your opinion. Hey, hold on, hold on. What are you gonna say, Miles? Yo, I did. I you have. Are you subscribed to my channel on YouTube? Wait, I can barely hear him. What do you say? If I'm subscribed to him? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I really haven't seen him in my feed though. See, oh. YouTube be on that bullshit. Oh, you gotta go <laughs> to the shit, bro. You gotta go to the yeah, shit. I'm not, I'm not Shane Dawson, so you're not gonna see me. You gotta go to my shit, nigga. Right, right. But what I'm saying is, I did, a, I did a whole, I did a whole series of videos talking about um, um, game versus looks, where I talked about. Yeah, I saw that. One. I did, I did see that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what do you? It, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a always. What do you mean? When is a man supposed to be taking his appearance seriously? Always, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah, all the time, all the time. That that needs to be again. This is see the the, the problem with the, the the thing with game is everything needs to be. It got to form like Voltron. You understand what I'm saying? Like everything needs to be on point. And so yes. the thing is, is that you know you gotta have your appearance on point. Gotta have your mouthpiece on point. Gotta have that that confidence on point. You know what I'm saying? Like all of these things need to be on point. So yeah, it's, it should be it should be there at all times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that, you know, me personally, I hella feel that, but I think the argument pretty much is, you know, like when, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of cats out here, like, you know, like I mentioned earlier, they're following trends here and there, you know what I'm saying? Like, like back then, you know, skinny jeans used to be in, and now, tatted, unfortunately, like, tattoo faces is in, 
here and there, depending on where you're from. Mm -hmm. So like for a young cat who was just coming up in the game mm -hmm. and he's basically looking for something that fits him, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, when? You know, like a 22-year-old, like for instance, you know, I'm 41 and, we all, you know, y'all too, I'm sure y'all pushing 40 right now. Mm -hmm. You guys knew exactly when it was time to develop and make a change and like you feel good about yourself, like mm -hmm. you feel confident mm -hmm. and everything. So pretty much when you're in like your early 20s in that raggedy stage where you just don't know yet. If somebody comes along and say, yo, you need to work out or you need to do this, you mm -hmm. do that. And then they do and nothing still works. It's like, damn, now what? You know what I mean? Because there's some cats out there that really have that mentality or maybe what we got is not fitting for them. Like a beard is not for everybody. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I guess the question is, is like, you know, when or maybe there's really no answer to that. Maybe there's just a time for every season. You know when you know. Well, the thing is, it's not it's not really a when. It's really it's really about it's something that just needs to be to to, to be happening on a consistent basis. You know what I'm saying? It's never it's never a time to stop yeah. or start. It should be. It should be something now as far as developing your own personal style or whatever that needs to be based off of the the guy himself like he has to it's just like anything else like you have to figure out what works for you and that may take some right. time but it, it you got to work on that you know what i'm saying so a person might see another person who's dressed in a certain style you might say damn that, that style might look pretty good on me let me try that and you try that and you're like yeah. okay i like it or i don't like it and then you switch up or you do some other things that may just be something you came up with or something that you might think looks good. So it's just, it's just about like trying new shit, seeing what fits you, seeing what feels good with, with, with what you're doing and then going in that direction. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Just right. like, you know, I grew the beard as you see in my profile picture, the chap, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, and I shaved the head. It worked for me. I get attraction. Mm. I do. So it's like, okay, let me go ahead and keep this. But we all know like the beard is not for everybody. You know what right. I mean? Like when I see like some of your videos on your thumbnail, mm. you know, the Kango will work for you. Right. But it may not be fit for everybody. The sunglasses, you know, work for miles. You know what I'm mm. saying? You know, so yeah, that, that's why I was asking like, okay, so when did this, this shit like happen for any other man? You know, like you said, everybody develops their own swag. Yeah, it all happens, happens, happens in time when they, the time. yeah, it happens when they, yeah, you know? it happens when they, they get to that point when, <laughs> They figure it out for themselves. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? That's all See, it is. I, the, the, the thing yeah, the, so it's, almost, it's almost damn near miraculous. Right. You know, from what it sounds like. Like, hey, it happens when it happens, you get it when you get it. You know, it's just part of the game. You know what I mean? But no. yeah, I appreciate, you know, uh chopping it up with y'all time, you know what I mean? And yo, I guess I gotta wait till Black Friday for that game keep to come <laughs> out because I'm not on the bad boy membership. I just like supporting y'all from the outside, you know what I'm saying? That's the game up. always. All right, bro. Appreciate you, man. I'm yeah. holla. Yeah, Peace. So, so what you okay. say what you say, Miles? No, no, no. I was just saying that I think with the caller, I think I think he needs to understand more that style is something that evolves continuously. Right, right. I mean, right. Like you're always evolving. Like I didn't always have this pointed beard. Like it I started cutting, you know, and, and then it developed into that. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't always right. wear glasses it developed into that but i had i had a certain swag back in the day too you know what i'm saying it is what it is right so what's popping who's calling and this is p sway i donated on the cash app all right what's going on with you yeah so uh i was actually taking notes when you were um talking about the five points mm. and um the last part where you're talking about like the dumb smart um thing Could right you, like go into more detail about that and just like Talk about how that could like impact, like, like you say, like the relationship if like the mm -hmm. girls like that, like how that, could be, how that could like end up being if you don't check that at the beginning. Right. Well, the thing is, is that you you got to just recognize when you're dealing with a woman who, because when you have a chick who's like a smart dumb chick, her her trying to portray her smart, you know what I'm saying, like energy is a way to mask insecurity. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what it is is that it's just like it's just like a woman. You may even have a woman who like it's kind of like when a woman has a, a really great job and she makes good money and she's successful and she uses that as a thing to like make it her seem um, more interesting than she she is. It's the same concept mm -hmm. where they're using something to mask some sort of insecurity so that you don't get to see who the real them is. So what they'll do is, is that they'll try to project a certain 
um, type of energy. They'll try to project, uh, project a certain type of image that they're more, they're smarter, they're more cultured. They have a, a, a lot of knowledge on things. They're, they're more like, you know, like awake or woke or whatever, you know, they have that energy. And so you'll notice that when the woman, instead of her just being like a regular, cool, down to earth type of chick, she's, she's extra. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like you ever, for example, you ever meet a, or, 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 or know of a person or like, let's say a guy who he has to act real tough. So you think he's gangster and shit. You understand what I'm saying? He, he just, he just doing a little too much where he's trying to be hard. He got, he got the, the, the fucking screw face on and shit. You understand what I'm saying? He's standing a certain way. He talking a certain way. You know what I'm saying? He always talking about how he's going to fuck somebody up. And blah. Like, you're like, yo, nigga, calm down. You understand what I'm saying? But he's doing that to mask some shit. You understand? It's like anybody else. You might have an, a guy who, let's say he, he, he has a lot, of, uh, a lot of money. He has a nice car. And he's always talking about, oh, yeah. And he's bragging about his accomplishments. Yeah, I went to the Hamptons last week and we did this. And then I was talking to so-and-so and he's name dropping all these celebrities. And you're like, nigga, calm down. You understand what I'm saying? Same thing for women with this smart shit. And, and, and the thing is, is that women will, 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 will portray themselves this way because, again, they're trying to hide their real self because they're insecure about something about who they really are. And so the, the time wasting comes in when they're trying to take up a lot of time to prove to you that they aren't the regular girl. Like, I'm different. I'm this way. I'm that way. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, even, right. Because even I was, I remember I went on a date with this woman once, right? And, and this is another type of version of it, but it's not, it's not necessarily a smart thing. I went on a date with this woman who she tried to, and women will do this sometimes too. And this, this, this is how you could, they're, they're insecure when they do this shit too. When a woman tries to prove to you that she's desirable, that that's that she it's the same shit. Meaning, I was on a date with this woman, and she was like, Yeah, you know, she's like, Yeah, I've been out to different places and I've I've traveled the world, and I've had guys who would put me up in luxury hotels and yada yada yada. And I've I've dated some basketball players, and I'm like, so you know what I'm saying? But she's saying all this because she wants to portray a certain image to me. You understand know what I'm saying? Because She's insecure about who she really is. You see what I'm saying? So it, it's just, it's just that's what it is. But the, the, it's just when you have the chicks who want to act like they're smart or they're enlightened, it's just more annoying. You understand what I'm saying? It's just annoying. You feel know what I mean? So, and that's going to waste a lot of time. You feel know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, that's what it is. You feel me? You got any more questions? All right, man. Appreciate you, bro. All right. All right, man. All right, you guys, call the number 646-481-3901. Make sure you guys go to the Bad Boy membership to check out the Game Kings documentary. It is out right now. You feel me? It is out right now. Um, Chad, did, I saw Chad in the, in, the, in the chat trolling. I think I think he was trolling. I don't know. I don't even know if that's a real motherfucker. Um, but if you are, call up because that would be very interesting to, <laughs> to hear what the, what he say. No, nah, he you know he's on some. I don't get rejected. I only get eights, nines, and tens. You know that bullshit. Oh man, he's living the best life. That's great. You know what I'm saying? All of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Man. So so what the that, fuck is he doing on the on the on the stream? That's what I'm saying. I don't know these guys. If I, yo, if I never get rejected and I and I always got nine and nines and tens. Um, I would spend all my time fucking bitches. Like, what do you? What? Right, exactly. Like, I would, I would, I would work, make money, and and then go fuck with bitches. That's that would be my whole right, life. Exactly, exactly. That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> I ain't gonna spend my time on no dating coaches fucking chat room. Like, right, right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Dudes, dudes, we, dudes, we living in this fantasy world online, man. It's it's funny. I like I I'm I'm just like impressed. That that your life would be so whack. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and we say you offered you offer him a medal. Hilarious. That's funny, man. But yeah, a lot of these dudes, they be they be on that bullshit. 
But yeah, these chicks, I'm telling you, these chicks will waste your time if you let them. You understand what I'm saying? Right. They will waste your fucking time if you let them. It's it's ridiculous, man. It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Hey, yeah, Lucar, why don't you do a, a cologne video? Well, somebody asked why I want to do a cologne video. Yeah, Phantom. He says he wants he wants oh. uh, he wants you to do it. Locario fan, why don't you do a cologne video? Is that Costas? I think that's Costas. Costas be coming up with a bunch of different uh screen names and shit. I only use like two different colognes, really. That I use like Polo Blue and uh Jean Paul Gartier. That's it. You understand what I'm saying? That's it. So my dude uh WBBM wrote the Game Kings is fire, already watched it twice. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm fucking talking about, people. Make sure you get up on them Game Kings. <coughs> Make sure you get up on them Game Kings. That shit is crazy. So if you guys are not on the Game Kings or not on the Bad Boy membership to watch the Game Kings, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> I do not know what to tell you. So, uh, Ross, you were saying uh, you say that it's okay to get emotional with you, but wait, what happened? You said, hey, you say that it's okay to get emotional with you, but when is there a limit to that? What do you mean? What do you mean, Ross? I don't even understand what you're talking about. Yeah, what the fuck you talking about, nigga? I, I do not understand what you're talking about. You understand what I'm saying? Man. April says she's not a time waster. <laughs> she, she's not a time waster with me, I'll tell you that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, all, that's all I care about. Because see, see, some some women, um, some women will uh be time wasters with certain guys and other guys are not going to be time wasters. This right. is why like I did a video months ago or I think a month ago where I said women have no identity. So women are going to be who they're going to be based off the guy they're dealing with. Right. That's why you that's why you can mold them and shape them into into right. you know what I'm saying women are like clay. You know what I mean? Like you got to know how to shape and mold them to what you want. Ah, this nigga is funny. I love it. I love it. It's crazy. Chat game was as tight as Miles <laughs> on the games. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Man. That's crazy. Um, you said I meant you said that it's okay for a woman to be emotional with you, but when is when is there a time limit uh to that? Uh what do you mean? I'm still confused. So you're saying women are gonna be emotional, period. A bitch gotta earn the right to be to be emotional and and, and fucking you know right, but she right. That's I think that's what he's yeah. saying. Like if you, you, I'm guessing he's talking about her bringing her emotions to me and wanting to talk it out and fucking you know like me to be there for her and all that. Yeah, we'll do that if you're my girl or my wife. Other than that, no. You <laughs> understand what I'm saying? It's not happening. It's not happening, man. It's not happening. Kevin would you say you surprised I don't sell my own cologne? Please, uh, nigga. I don't, I don't know the first thing about no cologne. Shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit's crazy, but you never know. You never know. Shit happens. Shit happens. That could be in the future. Some bad boy cologne. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be next year. That's going to be next year. Like, you'll get the bad boy cologne. <laughs> you probably should have that for Christmas. Nah, real talk. Yo, I, I'm, already, I'm already thinking about coming out with a, a line of Miles Cunningham uh, sunglasses. Nice. That's what I'm saying. We got to make that happen. I just got to find the right company. Yo, right. any of y'all know a good company I could start that with? Hit me up. Right. <coughs> Aaron B, why you talking shit? <laughs> Aaron B is talking shit. Um, but yeah, we got we to gotta get that bad boy cologne, cologne popping. I'm sure, I'm sure they probably have a bad boy cologne out already. I got to Google that and see. They probably got some shit out already. I'm gonna have to call it some other shit like Bad Boy something else cologne. You feel what I'm saying? No, it's gonna be called Got These Old Hoes, Eau Du Parfum. Right. <laughs> <laughs> got to these O's, Eau Du Toilette. Right, exactly. Bet the, bet the next bil- bitch will cologne for real. Facts. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> April says she's gonna help me find uh, do a cologne. That's what's up. See. That's what I'm talking about. You see, you see, that's the type of chicks you gotta have fucking with you you on your team. You understand what I'm saying? That's what you gotta make it happen with. You said P. Diddy may try to sue me. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Oh man. 
That's crazy. But yeah, man, you guys gotta get up on that bad boy membership. I I I I uh you know appreciate everybody who joined the membership because I'm glad I'm glad you're gonna get some heavy game. You know what I'm saying? And y'all y'all are keeping the game going with us. So it's it's just it's a beautiful relationship, man. You said, don't know why folks think us married men can call in to converse with the host. We have the girl, y'all don't. Hilarious. <laughs> That's a, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? When dudes be talking about, uh, they don't unsee. I, I did a video, I think, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, where I, I talked about how most guys don't have uh, enough game to be married. You right. know what I'm saying? They don't have enough game to be married. Because a lot of dudes, they be talking mad shit. They be like, oh, don't get married. And marriage is stupid. And if you're married, you're crazy. And you're you're a dumbass. Uh -huh. And I'm like, half of y'all, or more than half of y'all, have never been married or are not married. So how the fuck do you know? You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Right. Chad, you can call in now. Call in. 646-481-3901. Call in, Chad. Let me, let me tell you something. The fucking um, guys have a perception of marriage. They, they feel like, oh, once you're married... Your life is over and a woman is controlling your life. Right. <clears throat> the reason why you think that way is the same reason why you're not getting bitches now. Right. Exactly. You understand? Exactly. Because they look like I hear a lot of dudes be shitting on um, somebody like Steve the Dean. Shout out to him. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, Steve the Dean is married and, and he this and he that and he can't get no bitches and fuck that nigga. Like, what you talking about, bro? Right. Like, you don't right. understand. You don't understand the life of a, of a, of a, of a man who knows what the fuck he's doing as far as women. You understand? Right. What I mean? You, you have no idea. So how the fuck you don't want calling into his show to figure out the man mindset. So how the fuck you shitting on him? Right. 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 Exactly. You know him exactly. being married means that there's a woman out there that was willing to take his fucking last name. Exactly. The woman that chose him to have her children. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? These dudes is goofy with it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, like, and, even, and even if that was the only woman he had in his life, like he still got more game than you, bro. Like, you see what I'm saying? Right. Cause it's but, easy to get a chick, it ain't it ain't easy to keep her for all them years and keep the shit popping. Right. You know what I'm saying? So dudes don't dudes don't uh they don't understand. See, I, I know I knew Chad wasn't gonna call in his punk ass. Yeah, this, this is what I'm saying. That you know, you know, that makes me more disappointed than a nigga trolling. Right. Because if you say you're gonna do something, do this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Be a man and do this shit. This is why look, this is why I gotta watch the game kings. You talk about that. We talk about manhood. Be what you're going to be about. Do what you say you're going to do. You understand what I'm saying? Man. Oh. Oh, what did fantasy say? He said, Lucario, if guys are making up stuff about women calling the cops just for the guy saying, hi, how come Mal said it himself? Where they be getting this shit from, though? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. They just do go find, this. <laughs> go find the video. Please go put the video in the link. Put the, right. video, the video link in the chat, please. Right, because I, I don't understand. Dudes be coming up with mad stories. They were like, Miss Locario, didn't you say in this other video that girls are supposed to shit on you and you just have to take it? I'm like, nigga, where you find that at? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, what are y'all hearing? What are y'all hearing? You know? <laughs> Mercilessly said, exactly. I've been married for seven years. I apply game to our marriage and uh, want to pass this game down to my kids. Facts. Facts. This is what, see, see, because a lot of guys online, they not, they not even men. You got niggas who's 22 years old, 23 years old with a YouTube channel talking about, bro, never get married, bro. You're just going to take half your shit. And then hypergamy is going to make her want to be with somebody else. I'm like, nigga, you a kid. What the fuck you talking about? You don't know what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. He said, "Get face and LMS on." Hilarious. Y'all funny, man. Y'all, y'all. My I told you, I was the, the video when you said it. Put the link in the fucking chat, dickhead. Like, go right? On. Exactly. Like, <laughs> oh man. Somebody call this nigga the Phantom, but he, he, you know, he right? Exactly. You want to talk shit and fucking just. And, and run around in the basement of the theater and you know, right, right. <laughs> with his mask on. <laughs> oh man, exactly. Ernie George, you said these guys need to read the first chapter of your book. Facts, 
Facts. You guys gotta, you guys gotta get that book. You gotta get this book. Read the first chapter. The first chapter. Let me show you guys what the first chapter says. Hold on. The first chapter of the freaking book. This book is, is so good. First chapter is being becoming the man. Being the man. Becoming the man. You understand what I'm saying? That's the first chapter of the book. You guys gotta get this book. How do I say swimming today? That shit's fire. You understand? Man. So yeah, so uh we still wait for Chad to call in, which he ain't gonna call in. So guys, call in the call in number 646. 4813901 Zach Morris is trash. You ever you ever watch that YouTube channel? Oh, Zach Morris is trash? Yeah, that's just hilarious. <laughs> I didn't realize how much Zach Morris actually is trash, though. Like, like that nigga is a, is a scumbag. Like <laughs> <laughs> Like that nigga Zach Morris is the worst, bro. So y'all don't y'all know nothing about that. Y'all too some of y'all too young in the in the chat to know about Saved by the Bell. Saved by yeah. the Bell, son, with screen. No, I, I met I met what's her face? Uh the what the chick that played Jesse. Yeah. Um in real life. You know what I'm saying? Like she she's all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man. That's just Zach crazy. Morris is trash. Oh man. <clears throat> yeah, man. But yeah, guys, you got to make sure you get that bad boy membership so you can get the Game Kings. You feel what I'm saying? The Game Kings is so fire. I, I just. <sighs> Yo, if you, if, you, if you watch the Game Kings already, put a one in the chat. Right. If you if you are, if you watch the Game Kings already, let, let us know. Put a one in the chat, people. Put a one in the chat. Yes, Elizabeth Berkeley. That's her name. Oscar said, "Face an LMS says that only Chads get laid." Listen, tell Face an LMS to get some fucking game. You understand what I'm saying? Or oh, we got the ones in the chat. Those are the people who uh who watch the Game Kings. It, French French watched it five times. That's it's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Man, that's what's up. Talking about ch only Chads get laid. Then I, I must be a Chad. Goddamn it. You understand what I'm saying? I must be a motherfucking Chad. Miles is a Chad or Tyrone or whatever they want to call it. I'm a, I'm, yeah, I'm a Tyrone. I ain't no You're fucking. Tyrone. I'm a I'm a I'm a Malik. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Josh said, "Don't worry. In the end, there will be many old men with hairs of gray with a lifetime full of regrets and sorrows." Max, I'm telling y'all, look, time just keep going forward. You won't get older. And, and shit's going to be hard. Could you imagine being an old man with no game? That's crazy. What? Yo, <laughs> I am so glad we got on the journey as early as we did, bro. Right. Right. So, exactly. when, I, when I realized, like, <clears throat> again, we love you guys, but when I realized some of the mindsets that you guys have, I'm, I'm so glad that I'm on the other side. Like, I'm so <laughs> right. you feel me? Like I'm, I'm glad that I'm in a position where I'm giving y'all the game instead of me being on the other side trying to soak up the game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm real serious, man. I'm real serious because yo, I was that nigga. I was that sipping ass dude, letting bitches string them along and mm -hmm. just, just being, you know, being happy just to be in the presence of a bitch and all this. Right. Like, right. Until I, I realized, like, you know, I, I discovered the red pill, if you will, like whatever right. you want to call it. But I got right. to the point where it's like, yo. <laughs> like to the point where I can sh I can show y'all a text like I showed y'all earlier, which and it's real shit, bro. Like right. I'm not playing with these broads, bro. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not playing with them. They they mm -hmm. either shitting or getting off the pot, and most of them is shitting. You feel me? Facts. You feel me? Facts. Real shitting. talk. Real talk. That's crazy. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, um, these dudes out here, man. <laughs> whew, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know, people. I just don't know. You guys got to, you guys got to get it together. I mean, look, and and look, I'm 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 39, right? I'm to, to bag up a bitch and to put 39 year old dick in a 20 something year old pussy. Mm -hmm. What? Max, Max. Wait, who's who's calling? Who's this? Hello. Yo, what's poppin'? Who this? Yeah, I'm just calling because I want the bad. I purchased the bad boy membership and that shit is trash. I want my money back. All right. Well, listen, 
Listen, you, listen. You, let me <laughs> let me tell let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That shit is garbage. Let me man. tell you I something. A lot more, man. That shit was let me tell you something. Let me wait. Let me let me explain something to you. The reason why it's trash is because you're trash. Like attracts like. So you 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 only see trash, bro. You you won't get it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? His mother's trash. That's what that. His mother's trash. You live <laughs> you, in an apartment. Get the fuck out of here. You saw him living on what? You live in an apartment, bro. Like look here, look here, look. Let's take a tour around your crib. Let's mm -hmm. show me your crib right now. Uh huh. And, and wait a second, but hold on, but hold on. But you, but you buying the the membership from me though, right? You broke, nigga. You fucking wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait. I'm broke. Wait, 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 but but hold on, you calling it? you calling it to my show though, right? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Wait, you calling it to my show though, right? You calling it to my show though, right? Did I call into your show? No, 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 nigga, you ain't got no money. How many give you something you ain't never had? You, you, you put out, you put no, out, no, you ain't, no, no, you ain't, no, 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 you ain't got no money. You ain't got no money. What you, what you, nigga, 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 what you do for work? What you do for work? What you do for work? Why you deceiving the people, bro? Okay, so which, which, which program was trash? Tell me which one was trash. The main thing, the main thing. No, 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 no. The, the main, you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about because you don't know. <laughs> Who's program? Name, name me two programs that you listened to that was trash. Okay, I'll tell you right now. You want to know? I'll tell you right now. Tell me right now. Tell me right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Fuck out of here. Exactly. <laughs> this bitch ass nigga. <laughs> like, he's doing this. <laughs> Yo, Omar. Back. Yo, you back, son. Yo, yo, yo. You live in a you live in a apartment, yo. Take yo, show me a tour of your house right now, Shane. <laughs> first of all, first of all, illiterate, I live in an apartment. <laughs> an apartment. When the when the word that you're describing begins with a vowel, you have to use an. Exactly. All right? Exactly. Education, right. people. Education. Right. Right. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. That shit was trash. What part was trash? The, the, the oh, main, main thing. The, the main thing. <laughs> the thing was trash. Like, the main thing was trash, yo. I want my money back, son. Word up, son. <laughs> <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga ain't had no money ever, bro. That nigga get money from his bitch. That's what he's like, right? What me? He be asking for allowance and shit. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, man. Yo. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Y'all are hilarious, bro. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what see this guys, you don't want to turn into turn into that guy. You understand what I'm saying? You do not want to turn into that guy. Because that guy gets no ass. You can tell from the way he talk. Because he right. you, you could this nigga, you you could he don't even know how to formulate a good lie. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, like the niggas do me. He could have did research. He could have went to the video we did yesterday. Right. Looked at the screen when we were showing the products. You understand what I'm saying? That's probably he what was, he was trying to do. That's probably what he was trying right. to do. Right. <laughs> Jonah X said his parents failed him. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, oh man. man, that shit is funny. Oh my goodness, you guys are hilarious. Yo, that shit is trash. <laughs> Yo, word up, B. Yo, B, word up, B. That shit <laughs> trash, B. See, that's what I'm talking about. Man, I was talking about I was like niggas be trying to sound like they hard and shit. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, man. Like, stop. Man. Yo, that shit that's trash. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Man. Yes, like he's an amateur troll. I know he got he got to step up his troll game. He got to step his shit up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I've been doing. Got no game. Even your troll game is whack. <laughs> man. Just crazy, crazy. Oh, yeah, he's he's more, how how to get these guys out of their bad mindset of blaming their problems on everything outside of themselves? Yeah, that's that's oh, the thing. I mean, he was on. He was on the um. The thing, the, the expectation seminar. versus reality seminar. Yeah. That's what I have to do. Yeah. Eric, shout out to you, bro. No, Eric. Yeah, that's, that's the thing with a lot of these, the a lot of these dudes. That's their mindset. You feel what I'm saying? Where they, 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 they blaming shit on everybody else. You understand what I'm saying? Right. That's why, like niggas, niggas who that nigga that just called up, 
he's the type of nigga that be watching these other fools talking about uh, choosing signals and all that other dumb shit. You understand what I'm saying? That's their audience. You know what I mean? Like, dumb niggas. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. This motherfucker's stupid. Oh, my goodness. Crazy. Uh, you said, what if your sex game is whack? Is there a bad boy membership program on that? Actually, I don't even have a bad boy membership program on that. I got to do, I should do one on that, on, on stepping up your sex game. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, I, yo, I, let me get on that shit, son. Yeah, me, yeah, we have to do a joint one on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a, let, me, let me write that down before I forget. Let me put that in my notes. Yeah. Let me put on my, put that in my notes. If, if y'all was watching the, the the live stream last night, I was giving a couple, I was giving a couple pointers last night. Mm -hmm. You know, put this shit in my notes for the bad bad boy membership. Hold on, bad boy membership. Now to step up, up your sex game. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. But like I was saying. As an older man, mm. when you drop 39-year-old dick in 20-something-year-old mm -hmm. in, in, in pussy, bro, <laughs> bro, yo, you're bro, right. It is, it's a whole different feel, bro. It's a whole different feel. <laughs> I'm telling you. Because, you know, because, me, I mean, I, I, I fuck with older chicks and all that, and, and it's good, too, mm. but... Ain't nothing, ain't, ain't nothing like there's something about the that young chick who don't got no kids mm -hmm. and who's still in the early stages of her sexual career. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. where, where she like her, her pussy still, you know how they call it a box? Right. Her pussy still, it's still like a, a, a brand new box from Amazon fulfillment. <laughs> Man, nigga, I, I I love chicks who ain't got no kids. That's Yo, like, what? That's beautiful. Cause let's be honest, a lot of these, you know, a lot of the older chicks, they got kids, this, that, mm. and their surgeries and whatnot, and you know, shout out to them. Cause the box is still good, but right, you know, there's there's a piece of tape off the box. You know how sometimes you pull tape off and the cardboard <laughs> exposes right. the, <laughs> and the, the fucking there's wrinkles on the corners of the box, like <laughs> like <laughs> you know how sometimes a box is old. And because right. it's over, you can fit more stuff in the box than you could fit when it was a new box. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> like when, when a box is brand new, you can literally just fit what the box was made for. Right. You could just barely fit what the box is made for. But when the box is old, the box got it's been stretched out a little bit. Right, right. A couple more things in the box, but yo, that <laughs> oh, oh man. man. And, and another thing is these the young broads, yo, they pussy is so wet, bro. <laughs> so wet, especially when you know what you're doing. When you 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 a man with this is why um shout out to Steve the Dean again. He talk about mm. like having that sexual game, right? Like that shit is real, bro. Like when yeah. you, bro, bro, like oh man, look, a couple of days, a few days ago, I'm I'm in here with a broad and. I'm taking my time getting to the pussy. Right. Like, I'm, I made her, because she was wearing this, like, tight-ass dress and shit. I made her raise up the dress mm. so, the, so the ass cheeks could show. And right. I'm having her walk around the fucking spot. Mm -hmm. Just just to fucking, you know, uh, uh, like, increase the anticipation and shit, bro. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So by the time I actually got to the, you know, when you do the, the uh, you, you, you know, you, you check the oil. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> I'm the type of nigga. I have a, I'm kid like I'm I'm face to face with a bitch and I'm kissing her. Right. I'll I'll turn her around. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. Grab, grab the grab the the the, the right titty. Mm -hmm. While I'm while I'm biting her in the back ba biting the back of her neck. Mm -hmm. While I'm checking the oil on the bottom. So I'm, I'm like, I'm like here with it, like, ah, rah, 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 like, <laughs> like, like, I'm, <laughs> yo. So in all of those things, before you get your clothes off, mm -hmm. like that shit get the pussy so, so wet, so. Wet. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, it's still it's it's a tight box, like it's tight. Mm-hmm. Yo, I I ain't even gonna lie. Like, there's nothing better for me than to see that you know when you initially enter the vagina, right? And you see that look on her face, like mm. <laughs> old face. That's the you old know, face. That's the old face, like the. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like yo, you know your boy is in there. I am in there. You that's crazy. You know it's funny. You know it's funny. I feel like the times when I've dealt with chicks who who gave me a bunch of who like like and this is this was even more when I was younger because I I can't even deal with chicks like this anymore. But chicks who who made it a struggle from from the, the time I said hi to them. Right to the time we fucking right, and I would always get mad because let's say I, I have sex with a girl, and um, we 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 doing it, and she's enjoying herself, right, and she's right. just loving it, going crazy. So I'm looking at her face, and I'm just mad because I'm like, why you made me go through all of this bullshit, <laughs> and you enjoying yourself like this? You understand what I'm saying? So I'm just like, you know what I mean, like. It's like it's, <laughs> it's like you trying you trying to tell somebody, listen, I, I got you, I cooked this really delicious meal, and they're like, you know, I don't know, I don't know if I should should eat it. I'm like, yo, eat it. You 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 know, you, you I know you're hungry. Just just take a bite. Well, I I don't really, I, you know, I think we should talk more before I eat this. I'm like, would you just eat the fucking food? And then she finally eat the food. She's like, oh my god, this is amazing. I'm like, bitch, you. Went through, we went through all of this shit, and now you fucking, you understand what I'm saying? Like, it, it just, it, it annoys me. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just like, yo, like, why? And I used to, and I remember, I, I literally remember doing chicks like that and then looking at their face and just being mad. Like, right. Like, and look at, I'm like, look at your punk ass enjoying this dick, and right. you made it difficult for this dick to get to you. Like, what's wrong with you? You know, it's like, yo, like, come on, man. This shit is crazy. <laughs> yo, this dude said single mom's pussy smell like a thousand year old dead rats. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> what, what kind of single moms you dealing with? The last single mom I fuck with, her pussy was right. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit. Yo. Oh, that's funny. No, but the worst though is like, who if you get a chick uh who got some stink pussy? Uh-uh. Oh, it's the worst. It's the worst. Yeah. I remember, man, like <laughs> this when I was <laughs> yo, I remember I was uh I was in the crib. This was years ago, and I, I think I was living at home with my with my mom's at the time. Yeah, but my mom was she wasn't home at the time. So it was it was just me and my sister's girlfriend was was at the home, was at the crib. So my sister's girlfriend was chilling in the in the living room watching TV, right? Yeah. So I bring this girl into the room to the house into my room, right? So and you you ever you ever have the shit where you don't smell nothing until the pants come off? Uh, and as soon as the pants come off, you just start smelling shit. Uh, right? I had so, that one. Yeah. So so I'm like shit, right? So I'm like, fuck it, you know. Let me let me just get this shit over with, because we already. We already <laughs> you see me? Exactly. I was like, let me get this shit over with now. Not only did like, let's say on a scale of one to ten, the smell was bad, like on a three, right? Once I started hitting it, every time I was sticking it in and out, it just kept smelling worse and worse. Right, and right. You know what I'm saying? Mean? I'm like, what the fuck is this, son? My sister's girlfriend, right? <laughs> she knocked on the door and was like, yo, you good? You all right? Oh! <laughs> the smell was going out the room? Was going all the way to the fucking oh! living room. Like, oh! <laughs> you lucky. Look, that awesome real shit, if I was your mom's, I would have kicked the bitch out. I'd be like, bitch, I want to see the fuck out my house. <laughs> nah, she wasn't, she wasn't at the house, though. That's the thing. No, but- I would tell that bitch, my son don't know what the fuck he's doing. You got to leave. <laughs> Fuck out of here. What? Yo, let me tell you something. The one time I fucked with a bitch with stink pussy, my nigga, 
I was pouring real, like literal raw alcohol on my shit. Wow. And scrubbing for for weeks. <laughs> weeks. <laughs> no, that's my word. At least for at least two weeks, I couldn't get this bitch smell off of my off of my crotch, bro. Wow. Like, she was the reason I started shaving my fucking um pelvic area. Right. Because it, right. it felt like the, the smell was stuck to the, the hair on my, you know, my pubic hair, bro. Oh, God. So I started shaving my shit from that point on. And right. And anybody want to go check out my, my dick maintenance video on the Miles Cunningham YouTube channel? You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> bro. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yo, come on, son. Like, that shit ain't yeah, no it, it smells like an STD. No, nah, that's, that's true. Sometimes when it's that bad, it could be an STD. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it is her, her fucking. She got vagin bacterial vaginosis or some dumb shit. You know I mean? Yo, a, a bitch pussy is not supposed to smell bad, bro. We, right. This is twenty. This is twenty twenty. They got all the medicines and all mm. the shit you want to make right. it smell good. You could bleach your asshole and make that shit. You ever seen anybody who watched porn? You ever seen Sarah J's asshole and pussy? Right. <laughs> Sarah J has Sarah J's asshole and pussy. Looks like it's brand new, right? Right. I, I like I I shout out to sh to Sarah J because no mm. matter how many dudes fuck the shit out of her, her pussy look brand fucking new every time, son. Right. Mm. But she 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 look like she bleach her asshole and she fucking do whatever the fuck she need to do to keep her pussy like because this the skin the skin is always pink and clear and clean and right. What? Yo, they got mm -hmm. all the shit you need to make your pussy right. I don't understand right. how just running around here with, with stink pussies anymore, bro. Right. Like, and my thing is, I always wonder, do these chicks smell themselves, though? Yo. And you you, 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 you know the fuck the part of that one time when I fucked that bitch with the stink pussy? Right. It was the second time I fucked in my That was the second time I had sex in my life. Wow. So I, felt, I felt, I felt, I, I kind of forced myself to fuck her, bro, because... It was I had you know when you lose your virginity and then you have that drought before the right. second time. At least that's what happened with me. I mean, some dudes, right. fuck, but I know a lot of dudes who you fuck you you lose your virginity, but then it's like between that point, it's always like a, a gap. Yeah, a gap. Right. Like, mm -hmm. like let me get some more pussy. So right, I fucked the shit out there. I didn't I, I didn't care. But when I was done, I was like, man, you gotta you gotta do better, bro. You gotta do right, better. right, exactly. <laughs> do better. And the that's, fun that's, part. Because she, because the pussy was stink, mm. I never came, son. I fucked the bitch for like an hour, bro. Wow. And I didn't even bust a nut, and that's why the, that's probably why the the smell was because I used the condom, but the smell was in my it was in my pubic hairs for for like I said two weeks, bro. Like right, right, no, no good. Oh, that shit is the worst, man. And that's a, that's another thing. Imagine you talking to a chick and she being on some bullshit, and you, you end up fucking her, and you're like, damn. You know, I don't went through some bullshit with you for some stink pussy. Like, are you serious? Like, oh god, like that's woo. I, I had this one other chick though. One other chick. It's not mm -hmm. that her pussy was stink, but it always smelled like urine for some reason. Oh god, that's the worst. And it, so it wasn't it, like after I fucked her, I didn't smell anything on me. Right. But it always smelled like urine. And that like, pee, yeah, that, that, that dry pee smell. Like, yeah. Oh. I'm like, yeah. Uh, That's I, crazy. Like, That's crazy. But what I did like about it, though, it was tight. That shit was mm -hmm. toit. Okay, it was it was toit. Right. That, you, you need 79, so That's why many guys don't need pussy. <laughs> That's, Fact. Yo. Fact. Listen, that, imagine, imagine you with a chick who... Have some stink vagina, and she wants you to go down on her. What, nigga? That's when I, I, I remember I used to give chicks the speech when they would tell me that. I'd be like, "Listen, girl, uh, I think we need to get to know each other a little better. I think we're moving too fast right now. <laughs> I think we're moving too fast. I think we need to calm this. this let's just talk. You know, let's let's get to know each other. Like, I'm listen. What?" Man, I had a friend, King Lick, you could call in, send a donation and call in. I had a friend who he said that he went down on this girl before, and he said her shit was so disgusting that he almost vomited. Like it was like he's <laughs> and I'm like, dude, that's crazy. 
That's fucking crazy. Yo, your mic, your mic is off. The mic is off. Oh, pussy. There you go. Pussy ain't supposed to smell like nothing, man. If it smell like something, then something wrong, man. Right, so, right. Like, like, I mean, maybe it could smell a little bit like, uh, like urine. Like I said, a little bit, maybe, but mm -hmm. pussy ain't supposed to really smell like nothing, man. You know what right. I'm saying? See, and it's the difference between a pussy stinking and a pussy having a vagina smell. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So usually, usually it's either this: she either got a vagina smell, she got stink pussy, she got that urine pussy, right. Or she got the pussy that don't smell like nothing. You nothing. understand what I'm saying? Right. So it, you know, it's, it's usually one of those four that's going down. So it's like, yo, oh, man. A couple of times I've been with the chicks that had the pussy that smelled like nothing, and those those, right. those, were, those were good. I like right, them. right. That's crazy. And then you yeah. got you got you got them you got them other chicks where they 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 pussy smell like like they have they have their own little like slight scent. Mm. Like it's it's different. It's different. It don't smell bad, but it's it's and it don't smell like nothing. But it's different from the other bitch. Like right. you know, every them, that little bit. And then sometimes when you're when you're um, you know it it, it when you're uh like let's just say you reach the stage where you fucking raw, which you shouldn't. Right. Do. You shouldn't. But <laughs> let's just say you in a super monogamous, so you get married or some shit like that, mm. where you trying to have kids and you fucking raw. Sometimes your 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 body chemistry mixes with their body chemistry with the friction. Right. You feel me? So, Shout out to Afi Kingdom. What's popping, bro? Appreciate your fam. Yes. Yeah, we about to holler at you real quick, Afi, for the review. You feel me? Exactly. Right. Yeah, we got to send you the, the movie so we get a, get you to do a review. We're going to get your thoughts on that. You feel what I'm saying? Do a, a video review or something. That would be dope. That would be dope. Man, King League, what you talking about? The cap at Ashley... The cash app link don't work. Why y'all be coming up with these stories? <laughs> Bro, why y'all be coming up with these stories? You understand what I'm saying? I got fucking what? Let me see. Uh, we already got three people on the, that sent through the cash app today. So how, how is it not working for you, King Leak? There's something on your end. There's something on your end, bro. It is something on your end. We're we going to go another maybe 10 minutes. 15 minutes, and then we're going to wrap it up. But, guys, make sure you hit the like button. Cool <coughs> comment, you like and say he's going to donate for you, King Leak. So, King Leak, you can call up. You can call up. 646-481-3901. 646-481-3901. Shout out to my dude, Unique79, with the $25 donation. Appreciate you, fam. That's what's up. So King Lee, call up 646-481-3901. So you ain't got no excuse now. You have no excuse. Whenever the next call come in, I'm a I'm a bounce. Oh yeah, you gotta go to the gym, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so guys, call number 646-481-3901 is the call in number. You got another 10 minutes and we're gonna head up out of here. I was, so, I was gonna call, but nobody was calling, so I was like, I don't wanna. Kill the vibe, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So, guys, if you don't call, we are going to end the joint in a minute. You feel me? But yeah, but again, make sure you guys check out that Game Kings people. Uh, go to badboymembership.com to get the Game Kings. You feel what I'm saying? Lance Rivera know what it is, nigga. If Lance is watching the game. He said that Jesus Christ analogy in Game Kings is fire. I'm telling you, I gotta go. Guy, gotta get King, Game Kings to, to see what he's talking about. You gotta get Game Kings to see what he's talking about. Join the bad boy membership. Yes. Look, look, and I wanna say something. And I'm not saying this because I wanna say it, but I'm saying it because it'll benefit you. Listen, right. you can join the bad boy membership, watch the Game Kings, mm -hmm. and then cancel. Right, right, exactly. You can do that. Mm -hmm. I have like I don't want you to do that. I'd rather you stay and continue to you know soak up the game and whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. But if you really just want to see the bad boy, the the uh the game, the game team documentary, right. join bad boy membership and you could you could you could check out all of the, the content for a whole month, plus you get to watch the documentary. Then exactly. that's right. you can leave with your bitch ass. You feel right. me? Right, right, exactly. <laughs> but let's believe after you leave, me and Lucario 
uh, uh, behind the scenes, we gonna be calling you all types of bitch ass niggas and whatever. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> but no, 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 on some real shit though. Like, if you, you know, if you, if you really wanna like check the shit out, you could give it a a, a thirty day a thirty day trial. You know what I'm saying? J- just mm-hmm. remember to send us the email if you really wanna cancel. Just remember right. to send the email after you know before the thirty day mark. Right. Because um, PayPal going pay is is automatic on PayPal. They are gonna take their money. Right, so you gotta remember to hit us up, so, you know, so we could cancel your your account. Exactly. Oh, on some real shit. If you if you just want to get on there for for thirty days, get on there, bro. Get on right. there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You, could, you could get on there now. Get off the bad boy membership. Then you could buy the um the game kings when they come out on Black Friday. You see what I'm right. saying? Right. Exactly. So however you want to do it, but I'm telling y'all, y'all definitely need to check out that fucking. Uh, documentary, man. I'm telling you, this shit is crazy. Man. Man, man, man. But yeah, so you guys gotta guys gotta get up on that shit. Yeah, shit. And you know, you know how much niggas is paying for cable? Right. Facts. Yo, you see? Look, look, more, more, more uh reviews. Boss Mac was on that Cali bullshit. Bro gonna have dudes catch your phase approved. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Boss Mac Top Soil. Boss Mac with the games, son. Yo, listen, I want to see it, man. Listen, y'all, y'all need to go subscribe to Boss Mac, okay? Facts. Go on Boss Mac Top Soil channel. Go to YouTube. Just type in Boss Mac Top Soil. You feel what I'm saying? So that you can uh, check him out because he got some fire game. Uh, cool Call and Collector said he just donated for King Leak. King Leak, where you at, bro? So y'all be saying y'all want to call in. But y'all be bullshitting. Y'all be bullshitting. How you gonna get girls who y'all scared to call in? Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Like how? Y'all scared to just call in and talk. How you gonna walk up to that chick you wanna holler at? You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, that's bought. Let me put that to the screen so you guys can uh yeah, go get to Boss Mac Top Soil on Instagram and Boss Mac Streetwear. So make sure you, you guys check out Boss Mac Top Soil. That's the dude right there. That's the homie. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, so Boss Mac is in the Game Kings. And see, that's why dudes need to watch the Game Kings. I was getting dudes hit me up. They was like, oh, who's the guy on the top of the, 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 the poster and this and that? And I'm like, see... Y'all need to y'all need to get this game king because y'all don't y'all don't y'all don't know where where the, the dudes who was really really out here in the game. You understand what I'm saying? Like y'all should all already know who the fuck Boss Mac is. All of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Come on. Exactly. Boss Mac's from Bompton, yo. Y'all need y'all need to see what, what it is, man. He was spinning that heavy fire. You right. understand what I'm saying? Man, I, I think we only use half of Boss Mac shit, bro. Right, we got a lot of other shit that we didn't even. Yeah, there's a lot of shit that we didn't use that we can make a whole fucking like probably forty five minute video of of deleted scenes right. of, of the Game Kings. You know what I'm saying? We should, we should probably do that when we do when we release the shit, maybe. Right, right, right. Definitely. Yeah, we definitely got to do that. Do like a we should do that. We should put out like a deleted scene joint for motherfuckers to, to check that shit out. Right. Cause there's a lot of other game that we just we just took off. You know what I'm saying? Cause because we, we had to make the we couldn't make it too long. Because I think at first it was damn near three hours. So we right. had to chop off like 40 minutes. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, check out Boss Mac Top Soil, check out Rosebud Bitter Dose. Of course, you know, I know some of you already know Ron Wills. You know Steve the Dean already. Uh, some of you already know Eddie Fuse. Check out Eddie Fuse. Man, but that shit is tight, people. That shit is tight. I just, I like, somebody, when I was saying that niggas could join it for, for one month and then cancel, somebody in the chat was like, yo, don't say that. And I'm like, <laughs> I feel like I don't really want to say that, bro, but I really want niggas to see it. You feel exactly. me? Exactly. And, and on top of that, my thing is this. Is that I would rather you do that than not do anything. You understand right. what I'm saying? So that's that's how real we keeping it. You understand what I'm saying? I would rather you do that than not do anything. Because truthfully, if if you if you want some real smart shit, 
when you get on there, you're gonna be like, yo, I need a, I need to check out all the rest of this shit. I, you know what I'm saying? That's what that's what most dudes do. Cause I, I I've had dudes like that. They'd be like, oh, I'm gonna jump on it real quick, and then they be on there for a while because they want to they want to soak in all the game because the right. game is that heavy. You understand? So you're getting way more value for them for what you're spending. When you're spending it, no, we should be charging like damn near five hundred dollars a month for this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So so you know it's, it's crazy. It's how, crazy. Many, how, many dudes, how many dudes called in? Like, yo, I got on the bad boy membership. That shit changed my life, bro. Right, exactly. That, boy, that shit saved my life, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Like, we're exactly. we're saving, changing lives out here. Like, it ain't no fucking game, man. Mm -hmm. It ain't no mm -hmm. game, bro. Facts, facts. All right, so guys, we're about to um call it a day. But listen, make sure again, you guys join the bad boy membership. Go to badboymembership.com. See, Unique 79 is on point. He 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 understands the game. Yep. That's the dude that's really, really about it. Trust me. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you guys get the likes up. Get them likes up. Hit that like button. You feel what I'm saying? Um, the Rockies are how do you reactivate the bad boy membership after the payment failed? Just delete. You gonna just uh if that payment failed, then all you gotta do is make a new uh payment meaning make a new profile so go in there sign up again and then that'll be a new joint you feel what i'm saying with it with uh with, with a, either a new credit card or um the same one right you know what i'm saying so make sure you guys check that out go to badboymembership.com get the game kings documentary watch that shit that shit is fire um it's 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 fucking crazy you know what i'm saying it's fucking crazy but um but yeah, man. So we about to head up out of here, man. Anything else, Miles? You want to say before we get about this motherfucker? Uh, nah, man. It's you know, get on the bad boy membership. Go watch the documentary, or or keep beating your meat. It's up to you, man. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> That's right. It's up to you. That's man. what it is, man. That's what it is. All right, people, we out of here. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. Peace. Peace on. All right. Later.